Hey guys, welcome back to a RuneScape video, and for this video, I'm going to be doing a level 1 to 99 Slayer Guide. I'm going to start off by talking about the Slayer Masters, then the points and rewards, then helpful items that you can use whilst doing Slayer, then your block list, and then finally the co-op Slayer. So, let's get started. So before I talk about like the Slayer Masters, your points and rewards, first of all I'm going to talk about how to actually get Slayer tasks, and how do you get Slayer points and Slayer experience. So first of all, you go to a Slayer Master that is specific to your combat level and your Slayer level. For me, it's Movran in Prifdinus. So I've gone to him, gotten a Dark Beast task, and he's told me to kill almost 300 of them. Now, I've got to travel to the Dark Beast, which for this, depending on which one you want to go to, for me, I'm going to go near the Temple of Light one. And he's given me nearly like 300 to kill. So every single time I kill one of these Dark Beasts, I will get Slayer experience. And every single time I complete a task, I will get Slayer points. Even though Slayer points at first don't sound really important because they don't increase your level, um, in the long term they are really important because you can counter tasks with your Slayer points, you can prefer tasks, you can learn how to make new items like broad arrows, um, your full Slayer helmet, all those kind of things are really, really important whilst doing Slayer. So make sure to be learning how to do those items along the way also, which I will talk about later on. Um, so let's get into the Slayer Masters now. So as for the Slayer Masters, we have Tyrell, which has no requirements whatsoever. He can be found in Tavali, and he'll give you the most basic tasks. Then we have Mashna, which has a quest requirement of Priest and Peril, and he has a combat level requirement of level 20 or so. He'll give you two Slayer points per every single task you do complete with him. Then we have Venaka, which has 40 combat level requirement. He can be found in the Edgeville dungeon, and he'll give you four Slayer points per task. So also don't forget that keep on progressing on your Slayer Masters as you go along until you finally reach Movran, which is the highest requirement and also the best one to be doing as you progress in Slayer. Then we have Chowder, which is in Xanaris. She has a quest requirement of the Lost City to get there. She'll give you 10 Slayer points per task that you complete and she has a level requirement of level 75 combat. Then we have Sumana, which has a combat level of 90 and a Slayer level of 35 required and also the Smoking Kills quest completed. She'll give you 12 Slayer points her task that you do complete, and she can be found in Pogniniak in the desert. Then we have Duradel, which has a combat level of 100 and a slay level of 50 to be able to get to him, and also the Shiloh village quest completed. He'll give you 15 slayer points per task that you do complete, and as there's a Shiloh village quest, he can be found in the Shiloh village. Then we have Kuradel, which has a combat level of 110 and a slay level requirement of 75 to be able to get tasks from her, and he must have completed several parts of the barbarian training. She can be found in the Ancient Cavern, so to be able to travel there there's Fairy Rings or the Whirlpool that can be found south of the Barbarian Assault minigame. Then we have the highest one which is Movran, he has a combat level of 120 and also 85 Slayer required and he can be found in Prifdinus which requires the Plague Zen quest completed and he'll give you the most Slayer points which is 20 Slayer points per task completed. So as we've been talking about the Slayer points, um, all you've got to go to is a Slayer Master, right click him and click Rewards. Once you've done that, a little pop-up window will appear where you can choose a reward that you want to buy. Um, for example, Slayer Experience, Ring of Slaying, or you can learn certain things which is on another tab. So for items you can learn will be like Broad Arrows, you can make like the Slayer Helmet, you know, you can make all those kind of things. And then if you go on the Assignments one, you'll find out that you can cancel tasks, you can block tasks, you can prefer tasks, and then finally on the co-op, which I'll talk about later on in more detail, basically you can do Slayer with a friend, which is really handy also. And now getting into like the helpful items that you can use during Slayer, we have the Bone Crusher, the Demon Horn, the Tokul Zor, and also the Charming Imp. The Bone Crusher will have a level requirement of 21 in prayer and dungeoneering, will cost you 34,000 dungeoneering tokens. The Demon Horn, which will use quite well along with the Bone Crusher, which will give you prayer points, as the Bone Crusher buries your bones, and that has a prayer requirement of level 90 and a Dungeoneering level of 90 or so. And that will cost you 35,000 Dungeoneering tokens. Then we have the Tokul Zod that has a quest requirement of the Elder Kion, which will teleport you to like the bank and like a Fey Ring right next door, so that's a really handy also. And then finally we have the Charming Imp with a level of 21 in summoning and in Dungeoneering, and will cost you 100,000 um, Dungeoneering tokens, and it will automatically pick up your charms for you for your summoning, so that's really handy also. You should really be doing every single task all the way to Kuradel, like all the way to level 75 Slayer, do every single task. 
Once you reach Kuradale, you will be getting like loads of tasks that are either too far away, the experience rates aren't good enough, or it's just too difficult and it's just not worth your time. So here we have a block list and you can see all the monsters here all lined up. And there are quite a few of them to be honest. But what you can do is if you prefer to actually have some of these, like I personally don't mind some of these, but the experience rates are just too bad for me to be doing them. For example, the Tassaha is quite good if you have completed the Brink of Extinction. Like after that, you should really be doing the Tassaha also. But if you haven't done that, then that block list is strongly recommended. And now for the block list of Mothrin, which obviously is the Pifthina Slayer Master. He hasn't got many items for you to cancel out. Once again, it's the same principle for the Tessahar monsters. If you have completed the Brink of Extinction, then you might want to do it once you have like all the armors, etc. for the Tessahar. So those kind of items can be quite good. For example, the Grot Worms are just pathetic experience, and the Aqua Knights are just really far away and they just aren't worth your time. So for those reasons, you might want to block these monsters here. And now real quick, talking about Co-op Slayer, it'll give you different type of Slayer points, it'll give you Co-op points, and what these can be used is to buy specific items or cosmetic items, and all you have to do is you and someone else don't have to be on any task whatsoever, one of you uses a Slayer gem on each other, and that will put you in a Co-op team. One of you then goes and gets a task, and whatever task you do get, you both have to go and complete that task. Both of your kills will be counted towards reducing that kill count that you got to kill, and once you've completed the task, you can go again and you keep on getting co-op points as you go along. So that wraps up this Slayer Guide. If you have any questions, please post them below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon with another video. Peace out.